Hey guys, this is Romax, and today I'm going to play a game called Limbo. Um, it's a very interesting game. It's a 2D platformer, and it's also kind of a puzzler. So, for the sake of showing you, I'm going to start a new game and just begin with the first chapter. I'm not exactly sure what the story is, but basically you're a little boy that wakes up in the woods and you're traveling right the whole time and you're trying to get out of there as, as quick as possible. It's a very monochromatic game as you can tell. Everything's very one colored. Everything's very dark and the background is just like a huge shadow. The controls are pretty simple. You just use the arrow keys to, to walk and then up and down or up just to jump and that's pretty much it. In this game you die many 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 times so it's it's a very trial and error just like right there you see. It's pretty pretty bloody not gonna lie. There we go. Here I'm just walking up to a cart. Not even sure of the controls to be honest. I have to check the controls. It's just so embarrassing. Control is the grab button, so. Let's climb that. And like I said, it's not like any game I've ever played before. I'm, you know, I play Call of Duty and stuff like that. So this is very new to me. And if this is popular enough, I'm going to do a, a full run through of this game if I can. Obviously I'm not going to be able to do the, the whole thing on my own. I might have to look up some tutorials myself because it, as I understand it gets pretty complicated but I haven't, I'm not even that far in the game myself so I don't really know. I've been stuck once I think in one of the spider parts. But that's about it. See here, I have to bring the boat. The game itself is just very clever. You have to do a lot of testing because, you, as I said, you can't really see anything because of the color, so you just have to poke around. Uh oh. Yeah. Not so fun. When you respawn, and sometimes it's kind of frustrating, like right now I have to drag the, the boat all the way back. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. I'm sure there's some of you that are just amazing at this game, so let's, let's not hate. Nah. Like right, right here. I, I don't know. I don't even know what to do because if I just go up, oh, there you go. You just have to jump. 
in this game I'll show you later there's like these guys that you follow they always set traps right in front of you and you have to avoid them um, I don't know what it's about but it's, it's kinda creepy to be honest like see there's these bear traps here Good though. Dude. Yeah, that's pretty pretty horrific to be honest. Looks like a little carcass there. Pretty gruesome for a two dimensional game. Let's see if I can catch the carcass into the trap. There we go. I'm by no means an intelligent guy, so I'm sorry if I if things look obvious to you and then I just don't see them. Kind of an idiot. Yeah. It's pretty spooky. If you play this game with the lights off at night, it might scare you, I don't know. If you guys have played Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's a pretty scary game. Might do a video on that if you guys request it. Okay, I've done this before, so I know I'm not gonna be able to pass this. I know that like I have to climb this tree right here. Alright, I'm gonna bring the box over. And obviously your character doesn't swim, so you're, you're going to drown pretty easily. I don't know of anyone who can't swim at that age, but not one to judge. Let's get over there. killed myself there but that's okay because I get to respawn oh my god like I told you like I said before the spawns are just ridiculous but I guess how, that's, that's how they can say that the game is longer than it actually is but and if you're someone like me it's going to take you a few tries every time And I'm sure this game can run on pretty much any computer. It's it's not that hard. It's not that heavy, if you will. Let's not risk that fall right there. There's a bear trap up there. I, I don't know what that's for. There we go. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Pretty brutal. I guess it's, he's supposed to hit the ground and then it vibrates and then the bear trap is supposed to fall over. There we go. Oh, almost. And the reason I know to do this is because I've just done it a hundred times. There we go. Maybe now. now. Like I said earlier, I'm willing to do like a full walkthrough of this video, or of this game, if anyone's willing to see that. See if we can catch him. There we go. I know from signs that spiders have eight legs, so let's hope I don't have to do this eight times. There we go. Okay, that was uncalled for. With my luck, of course, the other one's faster than the first two. But I guess that's how it is. Yeah. I'm not one to rage quit, but games like this just really piss me off. This one's faster, so... Let's try to keep away from it. There we go. Damn spider. Also about this game, you don't really know what chapter you're on, so I have no idea. But I think I'm like chapter 5 or something. Even though I started from the beginning for this video. But it's also nice how it's simple and there's no HUD or anything, so... There's nothing else to take away your experience from the game. Yeah, I'm stuck, so... I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. Nice little cliffhanger for you guys. See ya.